Right guys, back on Aaron Cole the canal today. Drawn peg 50, so been a few fish in this area. Just about to start match, so I'll get on box and see how we get on. So we're just about to start the match now, so I'm gonna feed me short line first. There, so it rod's all sorted now, I've cleared it, all ready to rock and roll. Just the bait up. Oh, Larry. He's a nice cute one. Nice little lively worm. Tipped off with a pinky. There we go. Also had a, a boat turn round and pull up opposite as well, which is always nice, isn't it? <laughs> At least he's not in peg, to be fair. I've had that happen before. It's under. loads of that scum, it's just a bit annoying really. Just keep getting caught on all eyes and rod and line and just having a general moan. <laughs> I'm happy now though, I've had that decent skimmer then, it'll have been about a pound I reckon. Might be on a pound and a half now. just about to come off that as well at 12 so give it a bit longer now and see if I get what else 
Mick opposite, I mean on next peg, he's just gone on his long pole and had a small fish so obviously if that goes and he catches a bream, I'll be joining him. He's just up to another, it looks like it could be a bit of fish actually. Keep my eye on him, see what happens. Tip goes round again, I'm a bit of a dilemma then. But I'd rather keep catching while I can, see what happens. So that's my one hour update as well, you know, all in one. And I'll join you again at hour two, unless something good happens before, and I'll get in there. So this one feels like a better fish, to be honest. So I've got the twitch. Feels a bit heavier. That's not a couple of poundish. See them lunges. Oh yeah, nice fish this one. Proper bream. Look at that. Big gnarly old thing. Get in. Oh, shuffle of that one. That's more like it. Get in. Ah, not bad. Hopefully there's plenty more where he came from. And get out before this boat. I'm hoping this line's sunk in time. That's what we call living on the edge. <laughs> having a look on long pole now so Mick had a couple of little skimmers on it so I thought I'd have a drop mm, got an indication then give it 10 minutes if there's one there we'll catch him Feeding this roach line. I'll have a drop on there after if this don't go. It's not loads getting caught, to be fair. We go another, just recast. Got another fish on the tip. They all seem to be coming on tip, to be fair. And I don't want pull yet, not even a bite. Do keep feeding it though. But we'll have reckon get them on this wrapper. 
Seems like another half decent skimmer. Not as big as my last one. But they're all more than welcome. Just hoping we don't get stuck here. No, it's come through, that's all right. These are the side that we're wanting. Won't be far off the other one, to be fair. Oh, guys, we'll take a couple of that. It took many of them to build their way up. The ones that I have seen being caught, other fish, they're just little skimmers, so they're not doing too bad. Get a cast back out. Take some crap off at line. Take this bit of fluff off the line, otherwise it's difficult to cast and it catches in the eyes. Go chop some more worms and I'll see you if I get another one. Just chop some worms while you're here. So I'm just gonna go out on long pole now. Just lost a little skimmer because the, the fluff got caught in the top eye and I couldn't land it. And we got pulled to go land it like I did with others. It's come off. I'm a bit annoyed at that, not much I could have done, but it's a bit crap. Let's see if there's all out on this line. Give that feeder line a rest for at least 10 minutes or so. Hopefully catch odd one on here, see how we go. I will literally just sink in my line with this one. I'd tip under the water, felt a couple of tugs. <laughs> Fish on. Just literally add one as well, so cast back out. I 
it's another didn't feel that big at first but it's it seems quite powerful now so I'd have thought it'd be another couple of pounds. Let's start last one we've got um the line stuck in the eye again so I'm just hoping that doesn't happen because they're a bit harder to land these bigger fish. another nice one. So I took it just as I had me. Rod in the water. talking about. Don't mind ticking over with them. It's just really hard with all this scum. I know I keep saying it but same for everybody. Having a bit of a nightmare with it. I've only lost a little skimmer so far because of it. Just couldn't reel in any further and popped off. Find a nice worm. I think him in the hand might do. I'm just going to go on this long pole line now. I've put some casters in about 10 15 minutes ago. I got a skimmer and a pommy off it earlier. But it's bad. Give it a. And then we're going out to have a little rest. more skimmers on that tip as well but it's been a nightmare with blossom. That wind's strong. I'm not feeling that. Back out on tip it is. Hopefully catch a breeze because I think I'll need one or two.
Right guys, it's match over now, back home. So I've ended up with 15 and a half pounds. So quite happy with that to be fair. It's been one of them days, quite frustrating with all the fluff on water. There's been a number of different crack offs and tip snats and cut braid, walking down, speaking to everybody. It's been the same for everyone, which I said it would have done. So like I say, I've had a few issues with that. Fishing's been awesome though, as always. Managed a cheeky default section win with that. So £22 won my section, £23 I think. So it's one of them, I've done on my long line, I, well I've not caught many fish at all on pole. I've had two fish on pole, that's it. But I know where I've gone wrong or what I'd change if I were to fish it again. So that's the most important thing. But I've had a lovely day on tip. Obviously you saw them peacocks this morning. So they left me this nice present for me to return to. <laughs> Check that out. See the size of that. You'd think it were an albatross or something. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you again sometime. Cheers guys.